The only point is, is that you can defeat my argument very simple. You simply have to give one account of Mecca on a map or being mentioned anywhere before 600 AD. That's all you gotta do. The earliest map we have of the Kaaba that has the, uh, no, the earliest mention we have of the, Ka uh, the Kaaba is from 741 AD. Yeah. That's 100 years after Muhammad died. You're that's, you're, a, that's, you're, a good, that's a good methodology. Chris, totally you're agree going, with that. You're going, but let me, you're going and mm. forget, par, pardon the pun. Go on, you're going off autonomy's pun. work as gospel. They did not traverse the Mediterranean, the Middle East, the subcontinent, and the Far East in terms of China. Okay. Ibn Battuta did. Yeah. Marco Polo did. Yeah, but Ptolemy you're not, you're not, even if we ignore a thousand years ago or whatever and look right up to the time of Muhammad, because according to your narrations, there would have been pagans who would have been encircling the Kaaba at the time, yeah? But we have no evidence of that. You can find records of that in China, not even NASA saying that you've seen cracks in the moon that are consistent with the moon. No, no, that's a lie. Either, either you're lying or you're not telling the truth. I'm looking to it right now. NASA has been asked about this and they said there is no evidence the moon was once split in half and then rejoined.